And welcome back adventurers! I am an adventurer like you and today I am playing Crusader Kings 3. We are starting a new let's play, a new campaign, the Ibadan campaign. And our goal is to grow from a lowly count, well count level, it has another title down there in Africa, but from a, lo uh, a lowly count level person to well at least a big a kingdom and maybe even an empire we shall see um, but yes it is time to get started with our game and here you see our main character and you can see he is still single um, I am playing Crusader Kings 3 in this let's play with some mods, I have 25 mods all in all um, on this profile. Uh, most importantly, I have more game rules. I have the phenotype mod, which adds uh, some uh, more variation to the possible um, looks of people. I think it's very nicely done, what I've seen from it so far. Um, and... Um, I have some events. I have Lulu's events and I have the Viet, V I E T, events mode. And I think we should turn off this music. Oh, it's almost done. Uh, this is from the official Crusader Kings 3 soundtrack. Uh, generally, I quiet the music in-game because I find it both repetitive and distracting. So, um, yeah, there's that. I'm also seeing some dropped frames on my stream, so it may not entirely stable, but um, you can always watch back the recording, which is actually in higher definition, 1440p, than uh, what is shown on Twitch or YouTube. Um, so you can always check back later um, for the recording of the stream. Okay, let's get into the game. I've set this one up. Um, I did a bit of tweaking. I also set up a few marriages. And uh, yeah, this is another one of my mods loading screens. And here we are, Ibadan, which is actually um, the name of a city that was later, after the period we're playing in, um, founded here in what is nowadays Nigeria. Uh, right, we're right at the southern end of the map. Uh, we uh, we we really don't care about Europe in this playthrough, unless they they come and invade us. Um, but we hope that those, well, what shall we call them, pagans. I don't know. Infidels, stay over there and we uh, will do our thing over here. Um, so Ibadan, uh, especially around in the 1800s, if I remember correctly from my reading, uh, became the second most populous city in Africa after Cairo, 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 Cairo whatever you want to call that in Egypt so it was it became a really important city um, and it is a home to the Yoruba people if we look at cultures here the Yoruba people are here and uh, we're going for uh, kingdom title of Yoruba land at least and we'll probably expand beyond that as well uh, because this is basically Ibadan and neighbors and talking about names I'm probably gonna butcher some names so if there are any people who can teach me a better pronunciation especially native speakers I would be much obliged and yes my apologies uh, from the start uh, I don't think we'll go for the entire empire of Guinea here but we might we'll see how it goes Right now we have Ibadan. Um, Owo is a big city here, but we have this city of Ibadan 
uh, which historically grew to become a major city in Africa, but we're not going for anything historical. We're doing alternate history. So, uh, we have an army currently of 707, uh, of 700 plus 7 champions. Yes, we do have a few champions, although we need to take care of that because some of our champions are really no good. Also, they are our spy master and our steward. And we probably want to keep them out of battle. Our chancellor actually is really good. Um, he has a 13 prowess score. Yeah. So uh, let's have a quick look at our council. We uh, we got a really good shaman. This is the first time I actually saw the AI roll a shaman um, over a tribe. We're just a tribe. We're in a lowly county tier realm, chiefdom of Ibadan. Um, and we got a shaman with 18 learning. That's very nice. I didn't even tweak that. <laughs> um, we got a chancellor, this guy, who um, actually would make a better marshal than our current marshal, but he's even better chancellor, and that is also an important role. So, yeah, we're probably keeping him as chancellor, but also as our champion. Then we have our marshal, who is uh, just 16 years old, and he's nothing very special, but he will do for now. We might find somebody else to take his job. Um, we have a spy master who's also just 16. Um, he's very decent in uh, spy uh, matters. Um, yeah, so we're keeping him. We have a steward who is just, a, um, well, she's 20 years old, but uh, just a 13 a level 13 she would have made an even better shaman but um, yeah so I have set up marriages for some of them um, I don't even remember right now it's been a, a week or so since I had a look at this set up a few marriages so that we can uh, get going so that's our council and we have three counties, uh, but we're one over the limit. Although, with our when we um, get married, we might actually get a higher um, stewardship score, so we might be okay with that. We'll see. Otherwise, we'll need to give one of our counties away from the beginning. Um, I want to do something about my military. Can we create a men and arms regiment? Mm. Well, everybody is obviously going for bush hunters since it's cheap and it's very good for this terrain. So we might actually want to go for light horsemen who counter no, they counter archers. And yeah, bush hunters are archers. Yeah, I remember it correctly. Um, we might actually want one of each if we can afford it. Yeah. They're not especially good in forests, drylands, and plains. Hmm. Let's start with some bush hunters then. And. Maybe increase the size to two. Mm. Let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. And we definitely will need to replace some of these. So we'll allow him. We'll allow... Well, this is one of our champions. We have a guest that we can recruit. She's an 11 prowess. And she's strong though she is stuttering she is also a chicken so where does the 11 prowess come from it would be even better if she weren't craven wow 
Well, we shall recruit her. We definitely need good soldiers. Well, good leaders to our armies. Uh, our marshal, yes, another champion here. He seems fine. Um, another champion here. Stuart. Our steward isn't very good at fighting, it seems. So we shall forbid her, our spy master also. And Monifa is our champion, though she is a chicken. And she has terrible prowess. Yeah. Well, we'll see if we can find someone better. Okay. Um, decisions. We have no factions against us all at this point we need to search for a physician or we need to appoint someone from our court like our shaman could be a good physician but our shaman is also 59 years old he has an awesome mustache though uh, so he's not gonna last very long i'm afraid um but we have other good people like Olamide or Kehinde, our steward. Our steward is good at learning, a mastermind philosopher. Yes, we shall make her our court physician. Hired. So that you can stay on even when we fire you for a better steward. And this is us, Nana Oroyere of Ibadan. We are 28 years old, we're bisexual, and we're handsome and uh, shrewd. Right. Handsome and shrewd. We are grey eminence, so our focus is on diplomacy. We are calm, avengeful though, and gregarious. And the vengefulness is what makes us, what well, gives us this frown which is not as handsome as it could be. We also don't have much prowess. We're, we're a terrible fighter. We're a schemer more than a fighter, but we like to play nice. So, um, I've already put us on the path of, uh, where is it, this one? No, this, majesty focus, right? Yes, and, um, Another one of our uh, goals is to reform the Yoruba faith. All right, decision available, activate war alerts, and then we need to choose some um, alerts that we want to receive. That's one of the mods I have. We have no air and we are above the domain limit. Yes. Well, let's start our game. Greetings, Nana Oreyera of Ibadan. I gladly accept your marriage proposal. I will graciously take the hand of your courtier Kehinde in holy matrimony. May Oronsa bless our union. This is someone I found who is a much, well, who would make a much better steward. So we uh, asked him to marry our steward. Let's keep it in the family. And uh, then he, we can't do that from here, right? We need to do that here. Yes. So Kehinde, you can be our court physician. And um, Nwoye will be our yeah, she can she can take that. Uh, we'll be our steward now. And see, we are now three out of four holdings that we can hold uh, because of the extra stewardship. And Ige, I, Ige, gladly accept your hand in marriage. May our Lord grant us long life and many children, my charming husband. In search of followers, primes of use, come on, big for um, I don't think so. That's just spam. Uh, excellent. So, we are married now with this 17-year-old beauty. Uh, although she isn't particularly beautiful, but she's very healthy. 
and she's intelligent. She's a confider and Midas touched. So that helps us as well with our uh, domain limit. She is calm, uh, trusting and diligent. What more would you want in a wife? Well, she's lowborn. That's the only thing. So it cost us some prestige. Um, yeah, okay. So that's our wife. And then after this, uh, we can um, get some courtiers as well, right? Concubines, right? Um, yeah. Alright, whatever. So, we have another marriage proposal here for our coach Odudua. That is our marshal. Um, one nice thing also of the, um, the tribe that we're playing in Ibadan, uh, and the Yoruba, I think it's the Yoruba people. Oh no, it's the faith, the Orisa faith that um, is egalitarian. So we can have women in these positions as well uh, and women champions. So we have a, a, a much larger um, pool from which to hire talents. Which is quite advanced for uh, 1066, right? All right. Um, I will graciously take the hand of your coach, Odudua, in holy matrimony. Uh, who are you? You're a better marshal. That's why I hooked her up with him. I hope he doesn't resent her. Excellent. And then we shall name her marshal, Osaze. Right. Fire him, hire her. He now doesn't like us. Um, can we do something about that? He just doesn't like us. Yeah. Should we befriend him? I don't know. Send him a gift. How much? 14 gold. Well, we can afford it, right? And then he has a much higher opinion of us. He won't cause us any trouble, hopefully. Um, she looks really serious here. Okay. So it's only our spy master who doesn't have a wife, but he's still really young. So we will look for that. And did I not set him up with a wife either? Hmm, maybe not. All right, wedding celebration with my marriage to Nana Ike. The realm expects us to throw a suitably extravagant wedding celebration. It is well within my right to collect royal aid duty as part of this, but some may consider it tasteless to levy an extra tax during a time of jubilation. And look at how happy we are. Uh, of course, I will collect who pays for their own wedding. We gain 75 gold, or I'll let my subjects enjoy the festivities without worry or care, and I gain 350 prestige. That is what we shall do, right? They should just enjoy our royal wedding. Royal? Even for a chief? Anyway. So, now we have more prestige, which means we can get more men-at-arms. Uh, we shall increase this and we shall get some light horsemen right shall we increase that one as well will cost us another 190 prestige I think we can afford that It's going to cost us money to keep them up, right? Right now, yeah, the maintenance is not looking too good. Um, but, yeah. So, now that we have an army, or we have doubled our army size. We have doubled our army size. Um, we shall 
go and grab some more land. Assist ruler. Is that the best that we can do with her? Manage domain. That would bring us more money probably. But the other things are, are good too. So let's keep her at that for the moment. Fabricate claim on county. Do we even need that? For example, Ife. This guy. Can we uh, declare war? We can just conquer the county, not the Dutch yet. And we can't subjugate him because our level of fame is not distinguished. Alright, so we need to get more fame. Okay. Um, we probably want to invite some champions. Right? Um, decisions. We're missing that. Can we not invite champions here? Oh, we don't have the prestige. Damn it. Um, yeah. We don't have the prestige for that right now. And we're losing prestige. That's not good. Okay, we need to go to war. We need to go to war. Okay, so we have uh, one, two, three, four direct neighbors. Benin here is very weak, so we definitely want to go there. Uh, Ife is much stronger. They have a lot of levies, but no men at arms yet. Um, Oyo. It's also similar in strength to us, but also not having men at arms yet. And then there is this. No. Who, who is your ruler? Yeah, Abu May. Mm, they are much weaker. So I think we should do Ife. Ife? Oyo, Oyo. See, I don't know where the emphasis is in these words. I think it's Ife or Ife. Hmm. Hmm. Where shall we go? He is really good. Yeah, what about his champions? There's no way to find out, right? The other thing is, what are our other neighbors doing? There's Nupe, which seems to be quite strong, although divided here into two. And um, Borku is large, but not very strong. Hmm. So I think we may want Oyo first, or at least start chipping away at them, and then go for Ife. Yeah, fifteen hundred to do this. That's gonna be. But they are just levies, right? We have. Well, we're going to have men at arms. Maybe we should wait a little bit. But that could be dangerous because they would get men at arms, probably. They have plenty of prestige. Okay, we now have 25 horsemen, 35 bush hunters. Yeah, we want to grow that a little bit more. But our prestige is getting lower. Boom! A loud noise is heard outside, and on instinct I rush to the window. Curious, I look out and see nothing out of the ordinary. Odd. Is my imagination playing tricks on me? I gain two stress. Ooh.
Okay, it's now 1067. Happy New Year. It is time for a war. And we have some other issues here too. We can declare war. Yeah, you can deserve the High Chiefdom of Ife. We do want that. Um, but we need 250 gold for that. Uh huh. Uh, we can take concubines and we are in line to inherit titles. I achieved them of Ibadan. I achieved them of Ibadan. The current holder is. Ah, I see. So we are this, but most of our realm is actually part of Ife. And we have part of Ibadan, and our city is. Part of this, the Jura Ibadan um, High Chiefdom. Yeah, we need to go for that. We need to have uh, one more county at least. Okay. Um, yeah, let's get back to the this screen and see yeah we're getting stronger oh they now got bush hunters see and uh, what about if uh, they also got bush hunters Benin bush hunters and Ibadan slash well oh they usurped the title I guess um, they have bush hunters too, but we're still we're yeah we have two ibadans. Oh my goodness, we need to put an end to that. But first we shall um, declare war on these people and go for go for what? Go for Oyo, Conquer County, Objectives, Igana. Hmm. It will cost us piety because they are of our faith. Yeah, that's going to be a problem every time. Um, I think we just want oil, right? It borders on Ife. That's nice. And then we can go for the other counties. I wish we could go for the whole duchy, but that will have to wait. Declare war. It's a crime. It gives him the right to imprison us. Yeah, I guess. We declared war. Okay. Uh, no, 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 no. Wait a moment. Wait a moment. Where do we want to raise our armies? We want to raise our armies here. Yes, raise all armies. And... Uh, can I do anything about... No, apparently not. Okay. Um, yes. Hmm. There are our armies. What about our commander? Osaze, our marshal. Yes. Very good. Uh, who else are our uh, champions and commanders? We have we have a guest that is 14. Yes, recruit him. Definitely. Um, I don't want my wife to fight. Sorry, wife. I know you're good at this, but um, we need an heir, so focus on that, please. Uh, oh, so this is only nine prowess. Okay. And yeah, these two won't be any good, but we have enough up here now. Um, so, this guy... 
probably we want this guy, Aki Moyero, to be uh, the leader of the army. Army. And you should go... He's coming our way, you should go here. Meet the enemy there. Or on the way, whatever. There we go. Victory! And we imprisoned somebody. Bolade, 17 year old. Mind is touched. Hmm. Do we want him? He's not terribly good fighter well let's leave him there for now maybe we can ransom him okay this why are there more people there now oh they're just raiders um, can we also go and uh, siege this city fight us again. Yeah, we know we have no air yet and that decision we know about it. Alright, we lost a few men. We lost a few men. Um, two of our horsemen. Quite a bit of levies here. Yeah. But none of our champions, so that's good. And we caught another enemy combatant. Uh, 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 let's give ourselves a bit more of which wider view. We're being raided. And who who is raiding us? Benin is raiding us. Okay, you're next on our list. Hmm, that sounded um, decisive, those last few hits there. Yeah, that's the thing with these tribes, they keep raiding. But um, we are sieging, right? And we're getting into... They just keep coming at us, right? Don't know why. They know we are a bigger, stronger army. I guess it's their pride. Raiders. Yeah. Okay, so two more victories. What else? Prisoners can be ransomed. Okay, let's do it. Ten gold. Alright, and that means we can ransom Alaba as well. For ten gold. We can always use the gold. We had 50% war score. Good. Ecstatic peasantry. <coughs> the peasants in the chiefdom of Ibadan are in a good mood. The harvest is bountiful, the roads are safe, and the village elders are telling nonsensical stories of cows producing honey-laden milk and geese laying golden eggs. The peasants are praying, praising me for their fortune and have sent a delegation carrying gifts. Yeah, I'm just a very awesome ruler. I graciously accept their gifts, 15 gold. Intriguing, send soldiers to collect more gifts. That's possible, but we will lose control. Or no, they need their surplus more than I do, and we get county reinvestment. Popular opinion plus 10, that is a good thing. We reinvest into our community. Can we get this siege over with? Maybe we will capture some uh, 
important people. Okay. And yes, we took uh, Japada Abipa's son and heir. Ooh, during the siege, we took his heir. Does he have more? No, he has the one child. And his wife also died. He was slain in battle by Olamide. That's one of our champions. Very good. Okay. Um, Abipa. Yes. We're at 100% war score. But first of all, we're going to execute this little baby. Was executed. And oh, now we lost war score. Alright. Never mind. Um, what else can we do? We can send our army here. Who is this? Raiders of Ila Ife. It's these guys. Best to relax. On the road, I saw a commoner sitting against a boulder. He noticed me and stood up to greet me respectfully, before sitting back down to lay against the rock. Curious, I asked him what he was up to. It's a pleasant day, Nana Royeda. So I thought I'd just rest here for the time being. You don't have any duties to worry about? Oh, I do, my lord, but I always like to take time to relax. Why work hard to stress yourself out when you could do just what's needed and then enjoy yourself? It's not every day a person gets a chance to relax. Your words are wise and true, and joy. Your day of rest, I spent 10 prestige and I lose stress. I'm not sure hard work is its own reward. I gain prestige and also stress. Or if you insist, a pleasant day to you then. Hmm. We can use the prestige. Yeah, hard work is its own reward. It's not good for our stress levels. Which are slightly up now, but only slightly. Um, what's going on here? Hmm. Alright, we captured another enemy combatant. Who is really not good, despite uh, being a brilliant strategist. Right? Because they're wounded? Maybe. Severe penalty in hell. They're probably gonna die from their wounds. Alright, but we still haven't got 100% uh, yeah the little kid was executed on our orders that's good I captured uh, Abipa's uh, shaman Osin Lade uh huh okay he's also a physician 18 learning okay and two others um Hmm. This guy might actually be good. Negotiate release. Can we recruit him? He will accept. Forcibly recruited. Okay. Who else do we have in our prison? This guy, uh huh, the one who's probably gonna die, and Laja Misan, who is strong, yes, yes, okay. Um, also, we want to recruit him, and this guy, he can go, um, ransom him for 10 gold. He's probably going to die anyway. I have no choice but to accept your conditions for my release. Farewell, Osin Lada. What do you mean farewell? No, welcome to our court. And we gain 105 gold in taxes. 
Very nice. And when we get to 100 war score, I'm going to call it a day. And he doesn't look happy. He does not look happy. And we go to 100. And force demands. To the blathering Nana Oroyera, may your humors rot in your living body. You are a much greater foe than I imagined, and in order to put an end to this bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. We gain 75 fame and 75 prestige, and we gain the province of Oyo. So, now we can send these guys home and disband the troops. And I became the culture head of Yoruba culture. That is very nice. Welcome home, boys. Let's celebrate. Okay. Now, uh, we should take some concubines and we should usurp the high chiefdom of Ife. Low county control in oil. Yeah, of course. Um, that means we will become Ife. When we become a duchy, which then means we can give away uh, counties to people we like. Um, yeah. They will change our name, right? And that I don't like, but mm, whatever. Let's go for it. It will cost us money, but it will give us prestige. We are now a mighty Ajapada. So, we should send our marshal there, right? Marshal. Um, increase control in oil. Um, okay. Increase control in oil. Spy master. Disrupt schemes. Find secrets. No, disrupt schemes. Collect taxes. And he is doing foreign affairs. Domestic affair is not really important yet, so now yeah, we're good. Now we can invite champions. Or we can hold a feast. I think we should hold a feast. Um this invite a man of talent, also we can get a soldier this way, right? That's this uh man of talent is one of the mods I'm using. Um I think we're pretty good with our champions, yeah. I mean, we could use a few more, like, good ones, but... I could so. He seems pretty good, although he's uh, scaly, but... Yeah, let's get him in into the fold. And this guy... Ah yeah, no, forbid him. He is... He is not good for this job. He would make a good physician, right? But we already have one that we appointed. So I don't really want to mess with that. Okay, so we are now distinguished. We are making progress toward illustrious. All right. Um, because then, um, yeah, that was important because if we declare war on somebody, the 
Dutchy level, we need illustrious. Right? We are not yet illustrious. If we are illustrious, we can go for the duchy. We can seize the chiefdom of Ife. Ah, that is this this province, right? Yeah, so that would cost us a hundred prestige, or we can just go and subjugate him. But that would cost us even more, um, because that would be the whole thing. Um, yeah, that would just be this, but if we do county, it would cost us piety, which we don't have. Ah, I see. Hmm. So, our, yeah, our army needs to build up. And this one was called Ife before, it's now called Ikpomina. They have a similar army strength to ours. Um, Benin is weaker, though they have 300 bush hunters. What do we have? Not as many. But we have the light horsemen. Yeah. And there is also, yeah, Abome. And he has uh, usurped this title of Ibadan, which we want back. And they're also inferior to us. is a seducer. Um, yeah. Well, what shall we do? Go for our title, Ibada. Get the High Chiefdom title of Ibada because we um, our capital is the city of Ibadan. Or shall we go Benin who raided us? I said Benin would be next, right? should totally hire her, but um, we could try to ask her to marry one of our courtiers, okay. she will not accept an invitation to our court, yeah, because of this base reluctance of minus 50, okay, who could you marry? You're 38. That's a bit on the old side, right? Do we have someone in their 30s who is single, like our Chancellor? Hmm.
sent a proposal. Okay, we were spying on his court. If he has any good people. Yeah, this marshal is pretty badass. But only three prowess. This quarter is pretty good, but is ill. 17. The Chancellor is not very good at diplomacy, he's much better at uh, martial. He's a brilliant strategist. That's something we would want on our end. Alright, um, let's just wait a couple of months. Our glory is widely known. Yes, we are uh, distinguished now. Um, and um, who was this? Onose. Uh, I gladly accept your marriage proposal. I would graciously take the hand of your courtier Aki Moyero in holy matrimony. And may all also bless our union. Excellent. And she left that court of Benin. He actually likes us. But he hates us. Oh, wait. So, the ruler of oil that we just defeated is the heir to this high chief of Benin. Interesting. Okay. Um, yeah. We should just go for it. Declare war. We can subjugate him for 500 prestige, which we don't have. Or we can just take one of his counties, the Benin County, and then Edo would stay there. Declare war. You cannot afford the cost of this war. Why can we not? Oh, because we don't have enough piety. Uh, so we need to wait either way. How can we get more piety? Go on a pilgrimage? That could help. That would help. Uh, host a feast? Yeah, lose dress, increase vassal opinion, but not piety. Um, maybe we should get some... I'm not sure if that would increase piety, get some concubines. But it could be. Look at her way. She's all decked out. Yeah, you got some nice jewelry, eh? Showing off that you're now the wife of a high chief. Hmm. Okay, I think we should get some concubines. Ah, we only have these two in our court. The stuttering one and Olamida, who was um, pretty good, actually. Yeah, but she is chaste. Which means that she has lower fertility. But she's a good champion. Yeah, we shall take her. Medium chance of children, because we have a higher uh, fertility. Uh, yeah, let's do it. And the only other choice is this one, right? The strong chicken. She's also impatient and sadistic. I don't think I want her as my concubine. No. K. 
Can we find a concubine any other way? We can invite a woman of talent, and then if she's good, make her our concubine. That's one way. Um, yeah, that's just in our court. Arrange marriage. Yeah, I know. Um, so yeah, this is the way, I guess. Would it cost 35 prestige? Okay, a woman of talent. Do we want a diplomat, a soldier, a steward, a spy, or a scholar? She's an exceptional spy. Or an exceptional diplomat. Mm. Okay, a spy joins our court. This person, who is a guest, um, not a very good fighter, but he has some interesting traits. Mm, no, I think I will let this one go. I think I will let this one go. 24, yeah. We need more prestige and uh, um, piety. We need more piety. And we're, we don't have a lot of money either. Yeah, look at the control. I know how we're doing now. 4.8, that's not a lot. I can unlock a new perk for the diplomacy lifestyle. All right. Um, yeah, I think we want to go for Thoughtful and Yuku Conquest. Um, if that gets us there quicker than um, the Prestige route. Uh, forced Vassalage is also a good one to have. Otherwise we have Heart of the Family. Uh, we don't have a lot of close family that we um, need to hire to have a higher opinion of us. Um, Commission Epic, it doesn't sound like anything we would want at this point. This might be good. Dignitas also, and August, of course, but yeah, I think we should go for this one first. Go for Juku Konkus Forced Vassalage. So, should we go on a pilgrimage? Yeah, we don't have the piety for a war or the prestige. Maybe we can just go on a raid. Right? We could just go on a raid. That would give us prestige, probably not piety. Uh, raise all his raiders. Alright. Stop being raiding, I mean, no, we don't want to stop always raid. And it's Osaza again. No, we like um, Akimo Yero as leader of the army. And they should go and raid Benin or 
they have been recently raided. Okay, um, probably here, Ifornian and uh, they have been recently raided. There is no loot to be had there. Here, I don't see any. But here there is loot to be had. we we'll go right here. And if at zero seven zero zero Yeah, we would need to go well they've all been raided. Fifteen here also. Shabby. Not too shabby. And this one, nice, yeah. 19, okay. So, there is some loot around there, but yeah. let's see. Spouse up to the task. Some of my counselors believe the job is theirs by right of blood or influence alone. How wrong they are. I expect results, yet I am often disappointed. After a long day, I am complaining to Ige when she interrupts me. Let me do something about it, husband. A few lessons might sharpen their wits. Okay, Marshal Osaza would benefit from your help. Okay, she's a 19. She's already pretty good. Uh, Give a few lessons to my steward and warrior, 21, yeah, he's really good. Or Shaman or Jiggy Deary is in need of some guidance. Yeah, I think the Shaman, although he's getting really old. Yeah, that might not be as useful as going for our Marshal. Yeah, Marshal Assassin would benefit from your help. But she would feel insulted. Who's the boss here, huh? Why did I hire you? Okay, we got 15 golds from here. Um, I think we shall go to Shabi. Although that means we're gonna take 100 casualties. Ooh, that's not very nice. And in the meantime, we're building a piety as well, so that's good. Yeah. See, we lost some soldiers. Can we go here? 19. Yeah. Alright, go here. And we got 49 gold. Now, do we want to go here? That's just 3 gold. Nothing here. Uh, nothing here. Uh, that's all very far. Do we want to go to Borgu? They've been raided. Seven here, fifteen there. Um, yeah, we can go there. Right, and then go back home. There's a bridge here, oh, but they have been raided. Here, Nupe hasn't been raided.
Ah, I'm not running. The play is the thing. I'm reminded by my steward, Noye, that a traveling group of actors arrived in town for the week. Noye suggests we might hire them to perform on the upcoming feast day. That's a great idea. Go to the market to assess their skills. Oi and I make our way to the market square, in the center of which now stands a temporary wooden stage. The assembling curious step aside for their lord, and we soon find ourselves in the first row, just in time for the play's start. The play essentially opposes two outlandishly costumed actors who duel with wooden swords as well as rhyming body insults. At the end of each round, a doctor character in a crown mask restores the loser, so the warriors can resume their fight. At the play's end, the crowd erupts in cheers or applause. The actors take their bow and remove their heavy masks, revealing that the crowd doctor is a strikingly attractive young man. I approach the troops director. Hire them for a funny play or hire them with a role reserved for you. Uh, hire them for a funny play. Fire! The evening had started well enough, the play captivating the packed hall. However, during a scene featuring a peasant walking around the hall throwing apples over his shoulder into the audience, some rough jostling to catch them knocked a table into a standing candelabra, setting the floor rushes off the fire. The fire further spread during the ensuing, ensuing commotion, triggering a panicked rush to the doors. While the stone walls endured the interior of the hall and many wooden yard buildings burned down tonight. What a disaster! And we have a 3% chance of some people dying. We gain stress. That is uh, from the new mod, probably. Um, I want to see my stress level. 27. The Lulu's Events mod, I'm assuming, because I haven't seen this one before. Fate smiles upon me, my wife, Ajapada Ike is bearing my child. I cannot wait to hold my baby in my arms. Wonderful. And our counselor Nwoya was burnt to death. Nwoya was our steward. Oh no, that is terrible. That is really terrible. We captured this guy. Who is an astute intellectual? Hmm. Can we ransom him? No, we will not accept. Okay. Um, and some other people are raiding us or we are raiding them? Okay, we are raiding them probably. Because I haven't seen any other armies. Moving around. Um, we almost have enough piety. We just need to go back home and lick our wounds and restore our armies. And then we can go to war again. What is this? Ransom. To the charming Ajapada Oloyera of Ife. Uh, Nana and Meleana is dear to me. Would you let him go in return for this offer? Pays 25 gold. He is our prisoner. Ah, oh, I see. Yeah, sure. For some money. That's good. But uh, we're not making a lot of money. We're yeah because of this the maintenance cost. Okay, let's get a move on, guys. Empty council position. Ah yes, I almost forgot. We don't have a steward right now. So who can we appoint? Kehinde again. I guess so. I guess so. Um, can we find her a better husband? Or now we can make her a concubine. That's another option. Can we find her another husband? Although we probably have enough single people, that, especially men, that we can find women for. 
Not anyway. Who is who would make it better? No. Do we have any filters here? Just fertile. No, he doesn't even have to be fertile. Just good at stewardship. But 11 is the best we can get. That's not good enough. And he's already our champion. No. Okay. Uh, you shall be my concubine. Yeah. Okay. But that still means we need a steward, which will be you again. You're back in your job. Yeah. But yeah, we do want a better steward. Um, but we said we have a fine character. Yeah, top realm. Um, adults. Marital status unmarried. See, we have a lot of unmarried people. That's a mighty beard. Ah. Can't we find him a good woman? Uh, only if it's in our court, because he's lowborn. Oh, we can do this. All right, that's, that seems the opposite of looking for myself. For myself, yeah, seventeen. She looks amazing, except that she's ill. Hmm. And the next is a thirteen. That's not an improvement for us. Well, maybe with our amazing um, court physician, she will get better. But yeah, she does look like she's in bed, right? Okay, let's, uh, let's get them married. And see if she gets better and then we can uh, appoint her as a steward <coughs> mm. okay we probably should get some of the other single men married Um, okay, let's go back home, boys. Let's go back home. Or did we want to go here first? 15. We have enough piety now. Yeah, we can always leave that for later, although maybe other raiders will come and take that. But you see, we're not uh, getting a lot of bolt. Oh no, when we get home, we get this added. Right. Now we have 240 bolt. Okay. And 64 prestige. Very nice. Okay. Welcome home, boys. Um, this bad army. <laughs> Stand down. Raid loot delivered. Very good. All right. Then, um, let's see what we can do to bring our armies up. We have some prestige. Uh, we probably want more bush hunters, or do we want another regiment, like light footmen? They're good in the forest and the jungle. 14, 18. And these. 32, 15. But no screen. Whatever that means. 
What is screen? The defeated army reduces the amount of casualties they take in the aftermath of a battle by the army's combined screen value. Oh, okay, so bush hunters are no good at that, but light footmen are. Hmm. Uh, yeah. I'm thinking I may want some of these. Yeah, if anyone has tips for um, regiment composition over tribes in Africa, I'd be happy to learn some more. Um, we also are now our culture head, right? And our fascination is currently with ledger. Expected to be discovered in about 28 years. Hmm. And what does that do? Ledger. Yeah. Domain limit plus one. Well, that's not the most useful. We have these, right? We don't have these. That would be more useful. I'm thinking. And uh, push hunting we have, this we have, we can't get any of these because we're not in the right region. Yeah, I think we should switch to this. Yeah. Okay. Our faith, we're doing good. And um, multi piety, devotion. Yeah, we should try and go for these holy sites, but they're more to the uh, west of us. So, there's that. Um, yeah, I think we should just increase these to three or even four. The horses are 190, right? 190, yeah. Let's just uh, let them build up a little. My son and heir, with a tired yet blissful smile, Ige presents me with my perfect little son. Oh, isn't that cute? Look at him. Oh. Odudua. Mm, that sounds like a good name. May you grow to be strong and wise, my son. Uh, but he didn't get any inherited traits. So that's not good. That's not good. Anyway, uh, we wanted to declare war on Benin. What's happening here? First army of Todo. They were defeated. Okay, they're just running away. And Kehinde gained the trade pregnant. Kehinde is one of our concubines, right? That is also our steward. Yeah, we just took her in after her husband died horribly in a fire. 
Um, yeah, we have room for one more, but... Oh, we now have Dada. Ah, oh, that's the girl I invited to be a possible spy. Well, she's not very good at that, and she doesn't look very happy. Yeah, sorry, not really my type. Let's marry her off to somebody else. Like Lucky Moyero, our spy master. Why right? they make a great couple? Yeah. Right. Um He's a good man. He should be married too. Let's find a spouse for him. Um, do we have somebody with inheritable traits? Fertile, inheritable traits. Hmm. Hale or beautiful? But this one is of a different faith and culture. But yeah, she does look pretty, but she's also chaste, so not very fertile. And she has a job, so that would mean maybe he will leave. And we have Abena, who is uh, very fertile. Yeah. Okay, let's get her into our court. And what's with him? He might leave our court. Why? He doesn't like it here. We need to get him married too. Yeah, we forced him to join us, right? Yeah, we didn't give him a job. And he has zero prowess. He is a physician, though. Um, Kehinde. She is pregnant. and court physician and steward. Yeah, I think um, we can make him the court physician. Can we? Yeah, and then he will want to stay, I hope. Greetings, Sancho Pado Oloyero of Ife. I gladly accept your marriage proposal. I will graciously take the hand of your court to La Jamisan in holy matrimony. Excellent. And can we ask her to convert? Convert to Arisa. Okay. They both converted. Two in one. Even better. Is there anybody else who is not of our faith? No, we have a lot of people now. And who is this? Uranian. You are born of Akimoyero and Onose. Oh, very nice. And you are Hale. That's not going very fast. Um, yeah, okay, I think our uh, army is big enough, and we have enough piety and all that, we can afford 
a war with this guy. I wish we could just subjugate him, but that would cost 500 piety. Um, prestige. So we'll go county by county. Because we still can't do this one. And we shall put a new rally point. This one, move the rally point here and raise all armies. Um, no, we can't raid, that's good. Uh, who do we want in charge? Flexible leader, enemy defensive advantage. Oh, that's a good trade, by the way. Oh, no, this is a cautious leader. And we have our jungle stalker. Um, are we in the jungle? Yes, yes, this is all jungle. So, probably our jungle stalker is the best choice. Let's go and meet the enemy. Another victory. Slaughter. And we gained some more prisoners, or at least one. Okay, no. Huh? I thought we had another one, or was he just dead? The Ricci is still here. What are you still doing here? Can we. No, we'll not accept ransom. Execute him. I mean, do we need this guy? Let's keep him around. Let's keep him around. Yeah. All right, let's go into Benin. And see what we can do there. I have no choice but to accept your conditions for my release. Farewell, Dariche from our dungeons, and welcome to our city and our court. Let's see what you can do for us. You don't particularly like us, but we're keeping you around because you have a pretty high learning. So, in case something happens to a shaman, maybe. This is a very uneven fight. Ah, oh, with a tired yet blissful smile, Kehinda presents me the perfect little son. Who oh, will you become a child and what shall I call you? Ah, uh, he is comely. Okay, that's something. So plus one diplomacy, minus one diplomacy. But attractive. Okay. Uh, Edo, that's good enough for me. Our forces captured the marshal and three others. Ooh. Nice. Do we want to keep this person? Well, ransom. Uh, but it's a zero prowess one. Uh, I don't think so. Okay. And. We are there, yeah, we need to go here. Where did the enemy armies go? They just dissipated, I guess.
Oh, there they are. They were in the marshes of the delta of the Niger River. And we got another person. This one is actually pretty decent. A brilliant strategist, rough terrain expert. Though not very good prowess. Terrible prowess, actually. Um, but we might want to uh, recruit her. I have no choice but to accept your conditions. Yes. And um, she's young, pretty good looking. Brown strategist. We want to keep you around. Yeah, you could uh, teach strategy to our children. So, make her a concubine. Welcome to our court and welcome to my bed. What's in a name? With the babe cradled in her arms, Ajipada Iga wipes tears from her cheeks and addresses me without taking her eyes off our daughter. I missed that you got pregnant again. <laughs> did, did that pop up? Anyway, we now also have a little daughter, my love. I think you should name her Iga after me. What do you say? Um, wouldn't that be terribly confusing? You will name her something more suitable. She gains opinion of us. She already has a high opinion of us. Well, what can I say? I love you. Let's do it. I can always rename them. Right? You can unlock a new perk for the diplomacy lifestyle. Yes. Uh, why can't I do that from here? I need to go here and do Juku Conquest. Perfect. Just a little bit too late for Benin, but um, all right. What is this? First arm of color bar, and it is has just a one champion. It, it is excellent quality, right? Elite quality, but it's just a one champion. One soldier, a one soldier army, a one man army. Come on. Yeah. But, um, yeah, happy, happy life, right? Two sons, and this son is at least comely, and a daughter who is both quick and comely. Mm. And we reached a hundred war score. Uh, I guess we need to fight this one. Okay, we have another person captured who is comely and has somewhat decent qualities. She's quite old though. She is quite old. All right, let's first get this. And now we are much bigger. Okay, we need to go for the Ibadan title. Uh, above the domain limit, yes, all right. So we shall give this to somebody that we like. And, um, yeah, that's good. I achieved all your Ibadan as well. And we know we have or your embedding that are in low control. How are we doing with the control here? It's progressing very slowly. Um, I think we need a better marshal. I mean, you're 21. That's hard to beat. Why is it taking so long?
Okay, who is still in our prison? There is this one, Adesua. Yeah. Can we ransom her? No. This one. 32. Disfigured. High learning, high martial, but no prowess. Wounded. No ransom. Okay, what about this guy? Also not very good. Edosa is our prisoner and she is the ruler's concubine, I'm guessing. Yeah. Oh, he doesn't even have a wife, he just has two concubines. She is Midas Touch, but she only has seven stewardship. That's a weird combination. And she's greedy as well. 36 years old. Mm. But no ransom for your concubine? Really? Really. That's probably because you simply don't have money. Well, he has little. For your concubine, 25 gold? Okay. Um, arrange marriage for prisoner. Anyone who wants to marry her? Our scaly guy. Scaly guy. Why not? This is your chance. And there she goes. Alright. And then we have this one. Yeah. 22, one legged, wounded, but brave. better if I get him a wife. Apparently not. Uh, this old woman. Maybe um, you. Getting older too. Uh, This one. Does anyone want to marry him? Hmm. These are uh, my women, and there, there is our stuttering champion. I guess. Right? I'd rather have children in my court than a prison full of people who are otherwise being useless and who I can't get money for. All right, um, I think um, I need to take a little break and I'll be right back. Um, I will continue with the adventures of our ruler, Ajapada Oroyera of Ife right now, but we shall get the title of Ibadan back. <laughs>